CNN recently commented on certain radio and television personalities who have compared the Obama administration to fascism and even the Nazi regime. Our final destination is happy-faced fascism. That's right, fascism. The big F-bomb has been dropped by Beck and others. Since I live in Italy, I thought I'd ask around. When you look at these two images, uh, do you see any resemblance in the, the Obama administration and fascism? Because being Italian, you know something about fascism. What can you tell us? Well, uh, being fascist meant to be racist. The homo italicus, you know, the Latino, uh, were superior. And so. What do you feel as an Italian when you hear the word fascist being thrown around so casually? Uh, uh, I feel sad. I feel sad because I think before using that word, the terrible word, uh, one should be very careful and one should, should study, should understand what fashion really was. It was like war was millions and millions of dead, was ra racist laws. During fascism, there was no freedom of speech, no freedom of the press at all. So someone couldn't even make that kind of comment. Yeah, it was uh, just not. In their it own was home illegal. Safely. It was basically illegal to make any bad comments about the Duce. Do you think it's justifiable to use terms like communist, socialist, fascist? Do you think it's fair game? I think it's. I mean, I think it's very poor game. I think it's like the sign of ignorance and undemocratic attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like insulting someone. Right. When it's you don't agree with someone, you insult someone. Right. It gives a measure of who you are. Do yeah. you think it's uh, potentially dangerous to use this kind of rhetoric? I think it is because I think some people will only hear those words and it stirs up a lot of emotion without any kind of critical thinking. And it is exactly what fascism and all, all, all totalitarian regimes do to our, the, the, the counterpart, they insult them, they say, oh, you are communist or you're fascist, you're bad, and that creates a, 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 like an atmosphere of people afraid. It's, it's so interesting, too, because it's a total contrast to the way that Obama uses language. The way that Obama uses language is very inclusive and open and um, peaceful. I think that the, the U.S. constitutional system and U.S. and the culture of, you know, American people, uh, it's very difficult, fortunately, to have fascism because like, the system of checks and balances it really works. My immediate re reaction, to be honest, um, being a German, is that this is kind of ridiculous because, I mean, you don't use such a bad time in history, to, you don't misuse it to, to compare it to anything. I mean, you, you just don't do it. You should know what you're talking about if you talk about that and if you compare it to other, other situations. I think no, no situ there, is, there is no situation at the moment which is comparable, not in America, not in Europe, not in in any really civilized country. What I find very ironic is this. Um, many people in Europe, in Italy, in Germany, um, like Obama, many people love Obama. Uh, but there are some people that really don't like Obama. And those people are neo-Nazis in Germany and neo-fascists in Italy. The Jewish ghetto is now one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Rome, but it bears solemn reminders of what fascism really was at heart, and why the word shouldn't be loosely thrown around just to improve ratings. <laughs>